Hi, welcome to the Herbalife 24 Sports Nutrition Training Session. I'm Dr. Dana Ryan, and this is a four-part training session on sports nutrition, Herbalife 24, and anything and everything you need to know about living a healthy, active life. What is a protein? You know, we throw this word around a lot. We have a lot of products that are primarily focused in protein, and so it's so important to really understand what a protein is. In today's world, everyone's got a phone in their pocket. They can Google things. Everyone looks stuff up. And, Everyone kind of knows or they think they know things about nutrition. But the problem is, is that there's so much bad information out there. So it's really important that we take some time, understand the basics because you're gonna be asked questions about what a protein is or different types of protein. And so it's really crucial to understand kind of on a basic level what a protein is. So the way I like to think about it is thinking about a puzzle. Right? So a puzzle is comprised of lots of different pieces. And when you put these different pieces together, you get a different image. So you might have a bunch of pieces, you put them together and you get a puzzle that looks like an ocean. Okay? Or maybe you put different pieces together and the picture looks like a mountain. Okay? Proteins are the same way. So those puzzle pieces are what we call amino acids. You can put those amino acids together in different ways to get different types of proteins. So you might rearrange your amino acids in a way that you get a dairy protein. Or there might be a different combination of amino acids that's gonna give you a soy protein. But ultimately, every protein is just a combination of these amino acids put together just like you would a puzzle to get that final picture. And then what happens is you consume that protein, so maybe it's a piece of meat, piece of fish, whatever it may be, soy protein, and when you eat it, it gets broken back down into those puzzle pieces, broken back down into those amino acids, it enters your body and enters your muscles. And we'll talk in the fourth part of this series about why that's so important for recovery and building muscle in the long term. So hopefully that's kind of a little bit of a straightforward way to look at you know, what a protein is. But what I really want you to remember is specifically about those puzzle pieces, about those amino acids. So there's 21 of them and nine of which are called essential amino acids. So that's a number really important for you to remember is nine essential amino acids. And what that means is that those are amino acids that your body cannot make. You have to consume them through food. So you have to consume them through either dairy protein, a variety of plant protein, meat protein. The most important thing is that you're consuming them every single day. Now, how much protein do you need? Okay, so a lot of people think, you know, oh, I'm gonna eat all my protein at night, or I don't need protein at all. But the reality is, is that every single person needs good quality protein every single day. So, you know, I think often we think about protein for that, you know, young guy or girl going to the gym, trying to build muscle. But my challenge to you watching this, and I'm gonna challenge you several times throughout this series, is to kind of think different about maybe some of the common myths or stereotypes that you might have about sports nutrition or protein in general. Because the reality is, is that every single person needs protein every single day, okay? Sure, for that guy going to the gym, wanting to build muscle, it's essential. But think about an older adult, right? We have an aging population and one of the realities of aging, whether we like it or not, is that you lose muscle mass. And it's just a fact of life, is as you get older, muscle mass decreases. And the problem is, is when you lose muscle mass, especially in your core, as well as in your lower body, so especially as you age, consuming adequate protein and helping protect some of that muscle mass, protecting your body, is really, really important. So, might be a young guy going to the gym, young girl going to the gym trying to build muscle, might be an older adult trying to preserve muscle and build muscle as well, or maybe you're trying to lose weight, okay? Protein's really critical for that person as well because protein compared to carbohydrates actually helps you feel full for a longer period of time. So if you're struggling with you know, snacking throughout the day or eating too much, having a high protein snack is actually gonna help you feel full longer and help you reduce those cravings for those sugary sweet snacks throughout the day that add to a lot of unnecessary calories. But again, back to this idea of balance. It's not just about having protein at night, it's not just about having protein in the morning, but what we know is that it's so important to space your protein out throughout the day. 
So a concept we call protein pacing. You want to make sure with breakfast you have good quality protein, maybe a high protein 10-20 gram protein snack in the middle of the day, followed by lunch, maybe an afternoon snack, and then again at dinner having some good quality protein. Because our body actually doesn't store those amino acids, so those puzzle pieces that we were talking about but our body constantly needs them to repair the damage to the muscles that's happening throughout the day. So it's really important that we're constantly supplying our body with good quality amino acids to help protect, repair, and rebuild our, our muscles throughout the day. I hope you enjoyed, and I look forward to seeing you in the next section.